Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my Vampire Survivors series where I try to unlock all of the things. Today, we're going to be playing the Asunta, who is a new character. Well, new, I guess, as in I haven't played them before. But they seem very interesting because of their special kind of passive. You know, plus 0.5 might project all speed duration and area for every single level. They also have a unique weapon, so that's exciting. Now, not super sure what uh, area I want to go to, so... Mm, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go to the bone zone. My gosh, look at all these different themes. There are so many. Low-key, I kind of love the Song of Mana theme, but... Forsaken? I haven't even unlocked that yet. Well, I mean, let's just go with this theme, right? Makes sense. We'll turn Hyper Mode on and... Uh, no item drops. I don't really know what that means, but let's let's go. Huh. Overall growth, luck, greed, and curse. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure this character starts with curse. So don't know if I want to be doubling that. Um, I mean, let's just start with the extra revives. Well, no, let's start with this. It's dealing damage with retaliatory damage. Well, actually, I don't have armor. Ooh. Okay, whatever. Screw it. We're going to try to get some max health farming. And... Let's see, so we get Might, Duration, Area, and some other thing. Projectile Speed? Santa Water sounds crazy with that. God, I'm almost dead, though. <laughs> so, what's the deal? Okay, you know what? Let's go, let's go whip. I think we're going to need to heal, because, um... I kind of trolled by immediately taking like a trillion damage. In fact, I don't think we're going to be able to heal at all. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> ah, but we have the extra revives. Perfect. That's, that's just what I needed, actually. I needed to use all of my revives right away because I'm just completely griefing myself by like suiciding into enemies, trying to get a little bit of max health without any armor. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna freaking quit this run, bro. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> and we somehow got an unlock for a third banish. Uh, oh, I'm hiding the completed. I kind of skipped over it. I, I have no idea how we got that. Oh, 80 entries in the collection. That's probably what it was. Yeah, because we, we got the new weapon. Let's actually read about it a little bit. What? Where is it at? What is this thing? A flock destroyer. What the heck? What are these weapons down here? Are these DLC weapons or what? Best with luck and movement speed. Stronger with continuous movement. Can deal critical damage. What? Are you going to tell me that this thing evolves with m wings? Okay. I'm, I'm interested. Let's go ahead and take the recover, the health recovery, because I'm pretty sure that since we don't get any chicken drops... 
we're gonna want to um we're gonna want to be able to heal cooldown reduces when moving well here we go we're moving I'm pretty sure you unlock this weapon from the dog, but maybe we unlocked it from seeing it in the shop? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, we just gotta keep moving, clearly. It's the best way to play. Just keep it moving. And sure, you know what, let's take the clover. Because uh, we're gonna have the whip and Ziasunta, which both can crit, so... Let's take a look. Maybe no item drops meant, like, no chests? I would hope that's not the case, because I kind of need chests. Okay. Base damage up by one. So how many attacks does this thing do? Whoa. Dude, the bone zone is crazy. I mean, this is... This is a pretty interesting combination of weapons right here, I will say, because um, we've got one that hits in front of us while we move, and one that hits below or um, behind us while we move. So we're kind of like doubling, doubling up. Protected from the front and the back. Yeah, um... I mean, let's see, garlic whip, this thing, that thing, yeah, I wouldn't mind a Santa water, but I, if we're constantly moving, is Santa water going to be that good? I wonder. What's a weapon that's good while you're constantly moving? Maybe like King Bible? I don't know if Spellbinder is good with our build though. Eh, whatever. We could try getting King Bible, maybe. Because you're just running into enemies, basically, with it. Tiragasu? Nope. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Make the flowers last a little bit longer. I think I do want the um, duplicator this run. But I don't know, because I, I, I kind of want to like evolve my weapons, right? Is there an evolution for this weapon that I've got? I would hope so. But uh, I'm not seeing it on here, so... Maybe there isn't one. Whatever, we're going to take the wings anyways. I mean, I'm pretty sure not everything is shown on here, so... I think there are some things you just gotta, like, figure out for yourself. Um... Mm, no, I don't really need Bracer, do I? Not with, like, the whip and stuff. I mean, Bracer could be good with the King Bible, but... I don't even know if I'm getting the King Bible yet. Okay. I mean, the Tome could be interesting. I think. There's the wings. Let's go for it. I'm going to assume that move speed actually benefits this. <laughs> oh god. We took a little bit of damage there. If I get the Pumarola, that would be nice. Because, uh... You know. We don't really have any healing right now, actually. Even though I have the Arcana for double healing, we don't have anything that heals. So... Ooh, this is a special bone enemy. 
I have a feeling this guy's gonna drop us a nice little chest. Okay, stop walking into enemies. You're gonna die. Did I take the tome? Eh, I'll take the garlic for now. Okay, the skeleton's not dying. He's uh, quite tanky, it would seem. There we go. Whoa. Um... I mean, honestly... No, because Song of Man, I need that skull, which I don't even have unlocked yet. One more projectile, my god. Okay, this weapon is, uh... This weapon's about to go crazy. Oh, shoot, dude. I didn't realize these were the respawning skeletons. I probably should have. That's bad. There we go. Okay, Pomerola. That's good. That's very nice. Uh-oh. We're getting surrounded. Yeah, we're healing a little bit. It's not a crazy amount of healing, but it's something. Alright, I mean, yeah, I'll just keep upgrading this thing. See what it gets me. I would love to get the whip at some point in time, by the way. Because the whip is what really gives you a bunch of health with its evolution. I wouldn't mind the crown either. If I can get the crown, that can be a nice accessory. I need hollow heart and... I was thinking duplicator plus crown. That could be... That could be my build. It's not amazing, but it's something. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure the bone zone and the dog that has this uh, flower thing as their starting weapon came out at the same time. It's kind of funny that this is the first time I've used this weapon. Also, these uh, little skeleton turrets are pretty obnoxious. It's kind of hard to kill them, because like... Okay, what the heck is going on here? This little piss ants are like spawning in out of nowhere. Our XP gains are not too hot, huh? I'm level 17 at like 6 minutes. Oh my god, another projectile? My god. And the area is crazy on this thing. Okay, I'm just trying to get a little bit of XP, you know? Oh no, not the turrets again. Oh, okay, that, yeah, that was a lot of damage. Try not to have that happen again. Okay, we don't really have a lot of damage here, do we? I was thinking that upgrading this weapon a lot would give us something, but uh, apparently not. I also would have thought that hyper mode, I guess, with the extra move speed would be nice, but... Um, doesn't seem to be doing a ton for us. <laughs> Maybe I should have just took this to a normal stage instead of the bone zone. Tarona's box? Nah. 
we're gonna we're just gonna make do with what we've got here. This might not be a a very successful video in terms of the runs that we've got, but um, you know that's fine. Not every video has to be a dub. I will say I'm not entirely certain if I'm really understanding how I'm supposed to like build with this weapon and this character. But uh It's a cool weapon. You get like ten projectiles that all do like two damage. <laughs> Alright, well here we go, level eight. It's maxed out. This is the strongest it's going to get. Oh god. Okay, this is a this is a lot of enemies, dude. What the fruit? Okay, and we we're dead. I'm not gonna lie, that was like, that was terrible. Look at the DPS on this thing. This whip sucks balls, dude. <laughs> oh god. Okay. 17 minutes. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna refund everything. And we're gonna get... All this stuff. And we're gonna go buy the merchant's thing in here. Um, hyper mode, sure. And first things first, extra revives. And we're gonna buy that. <clears throat> okay. So the idea with this is that now we should have all of the relics and all of the stages. So hopefully that's good. Now, I don't have any banishes or rerolls, which maybe was a mistake, but it's okay. I'm not really planning on this being a long run anyways. It's only 15 minutes. It kind of seems more like a sandboxy stage anyways to me. I mean, look at all these items that you can pick up. You can get, like, the god run in here. One thing I've noticed, this is unrelated to the game, my, like, air conditioner just turns on. I, I don't know why, because I have it set to off. I've tried to turn it off. Like, constantly. And it just is on. Also, you know what? I think we should just pick all these up. I don't know if there are some that are not here. But I'm just going to pick all these up. We need as much help as we can get right now. Not the curse. Going with that skull. There we go. Alright, cool. We're ready. Okay. Mm. So, I took the whip. Which probably wasn't the best idea. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually need the whip. But you know what? Let's just build the run that I was going to try to get last run. 
just for fun, even though this place actually spawns food, so it's not really necessary. Might as well, you know. Just for the, the clout. Like I said, this seems like kind of more of a sandboxy stage to me. So, just hang out, kill some mobs, get strong. Yeah, look at all that food, man. Food for days. King Bible everywhere. Although, Hyper Mode does increase enemy health in this map, so I don't really know what that's about. Maybe it's because all of the, the pots drop coins, and so it's like they don't want you to just farm gold in here. I, I don't know. I don't even know if the pots count as enemies. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this unique weapon, <laughs> I'll be honest. It doesn't feel amazing to me. Maybe I just had a bad build. Or maybe I just got unlucky. Or maybe I'm just bad. Unclear at the moment. But uh, it does look cool. I just don't know how strong it is. You know what I mean? Like... Because... It doesn't do a ton of damage, and so like running into enemies and just killing them with it doesn't seem viable. But obviously if you're running away from enemies, then you're not hitting them with it. But also you have to move, otherwise it like doesn't really hit as much. So... It just feels complicated. Which maybe that's the idea. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to just be complicated. And that's that's chill, I guess. Leave it up to the player to figure out how to use it. Anyways, I don't really know if we're going to be able to get, like, anything maxed out, because... We've got 15 items in our inventory, so, you know, we're going to have to level up quite a bit. Which, um, I mean, it is possible. After all, we have the crown. So, you know, crown's not too bad. Uh, yeah, let's just upgrade this. I still want to see if it actually evolves with the wing. I mean, intuitively, I would say that it does, but... Who freaking knows? might not even actually evolve with anything. Oh, okay, we just murdered that crab. Yeah, right now I'm kind of just feeling like if we see the crown, upgrade the crown. Otherwise, if we see a weapon, upgrade the weapon. but I kind of don't want those weapons. <laughs> I don't know what I want my last weapon to be, actually, but... Not those, I guess. Oh, I guess the flowers. I don't even know if I can get the flowers, though. I feel like it was an anomaly that I got the flowers in the previous run.
Alright, we're stopping time. I guess another thing I didn't consider is like, maybe the enemies from the previous stage were literally just too strong. Like, too tanky. Because this weapon's kind of melting. Maybe I'm just stronger now, though. It's all a matter of perspective. I was thinking about starting up a new series for another game, but I don't know how to feel about it because I don't just want to do like a let's play thing, you know? I think the reason, I probably said this before, but I think the reason why I like the Vampire Survivor series is because there's progression that you can track and there's an end goal that is trying to be achieved right like unlock everything and even if that takes forever that's how it is and there's also like you know obviously i did a couple of runs before this where i died but like in theory there is a set way that you start and end the video you start a run and you end a run um the game that i was thinking about maybe starting was uh I don't remember the name of it now, but <laughs> it's some kind of thing. It's like a gladiator fighting game. It was featured on Northern Lines channel. And I had it on my wish list and it's on sale right now. So I was like, okay, if I were to start another YouTube series, maybe this could be it. But I don't know. I don't want it to just be like an awkward thing where it's like, all right, I'm just playing until it hits 30 minutes, I guess. And that's the video. Right? Plus, it's kind of like... It's a roguelite, I believe. Kind of. Right? Like, you start runs, and the runs contain characters, but the characters, when they die, like, some progress gets carried over. But then, like, when you finish the whole run, then, like, that's it. That's that's the game. And, again, that's, that's fine for, like, a game to have. But just don't know if that's what I want for, like, a, a playthrough of a game. Or not a playthrough, for a YouTube series. For a Let's Play, that's fine, I, I guess. I don't know. I want there to be like a definitive goal. And if the definitive goal is just like complete a run and then keep completing runs until I am done and I get bored, then I don't know. Don't know if that's what I'm looking for. But we'll see. As for how my stream's going, I'm uh, still playing the Maiden Abyss game on my VODs channel, link in description. Um. It's going, it's going okay, you know. I'm playing the game, I'm having fun. I have like one viewer who is in my chat, and that's cool. I'm pretty sure once I stop playing the game, they're not going to stick around, but that's that's the luck of the draw. Um, you know, I think after I'm done with the Maiden Abyss game... I do have an idea of what game I want to play. I don't know if I'm going to spoil it. Again, not that nobody's really going to watch this video, but... <laughs> especially not somebody that has an interest in my stream at all. I'm probably killing my analytics right now. Not that I have analytics. I actually had, like, one or two videos where the average watch time was, like, eight minutes. But that was, like, across five views. Which kind of implies that there was one person that watched the whole video. So, I don't know if that was a bot, or somebody that fell asleep, or what, but that was kind of cool. I was like, oh, okay, I got a viewer. But, um, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess I'll just mention it. Right now I'm thinking of playing Sonic Frontiers, I think it is, the new Sonic game. Also, my god, these crabs are like a giant jump in difficulty. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of playing Sonic Frontiers after I was done with Made in Abyss, because when I was a kid, I played Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure 1, but Sonic Adventure 2 is the more memorable one. And that game is so cool. Like, it's not even necessarily that the game is, like, really that good. But it's just cool. And it's very nostalgic to look back on. And I do think that it kind of defined an era of Sonic. Where, like, Sonic was just cool. Right? And then, obviously, after that, it went kind of downhill between, like... I think, um, I don't remember what the game exactly was called. It was like Sonic Team or something. I, I don't freaking know. But, um, I remember some people think saying that they, like, thought that game was okay. But then, like, obviously you've got Shadow the Hedgehog. You've got, um, you know, Sonic 06, right? And then it's pretty up and down and mixed reviews on the Sonic games after that. Some people like generation, some people like colors, some people don't, <laughs> you know. Some people like Black Knight and Unleashed and Seven Rings, I think it is. it Seven Rings? Secret Rings? Isn't Seven Rings the Ariana Grande song? <laughs> Maybe she got inspired by Sonic. I don't know. Anyways. I haven't really played a ton of Sonic games other than Sonic Adventures, so just thought I'd try out Sonic Frontiers. I heard it's good. It has good reviews, so it excites me. I like Sonic. Mario's cool too. I've actually played quite a few Mario games. I've played like... <clears throat> Excuse me. I got something in the throat, dude. I have something in my throat like every video, I swear to God. But, um... Mario. I played like Mario 3 on my um one second. I played Mario 3 on Game Boy Advance. I also had Super Mario Sunshine. I also had New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I also had um, Super Mario Galaxy. And I'm trying to think if I had any other Mario games aside from those. I don't believe so. What a weird list of weapons. I'll just take the healing one, whatever. Well, I'll take this one. I actually have almost all of these weapons. <laughs> or uh, almost all of my weapons are he here, is what I meant to say. Whip is the only one that's not on there. Anyways, yeah, I played some Mario, played some Sonic, more Mario than Sonic. I never played Kirby, really. I had, like, Kirby's Epic Yarn, but, but that's probably not, like, a great representation of the series as a whole. I don't know. Maybe it is. It was pretty fun. I mean, it's it's definitely more like a childlike game, but whatever. Just chill. A nice chill little Kirby game. I'm not mad about that. Also, my god, I'm killing enemies left and right, dude. This is crazy. And enemies are spawning left and right. Okay, 
Okay, this is going to be the craziest gold fever ever. Okay. By the way... Dude, my freaking air is on again, dog. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just like racking up my bill. I, I have no way of turning it off, apparently. Like, I tried to turn it off and I just hear it turn on randomly. It's kind of annoying, I won't lie. I mentioned it like three times this video probably already. But, um... We're actually almost at the end of the run, I just realized. Because this is only a 15 minute map, so... We better make this gold fever count. It's um, a lot of money, that's for sure. Jesus. We're killing everything. I don't think the extra enemy health is uh, doing much here. I'm just gonna walk down and left. Never mind, I'm gonna kill these guys. Let them stand on the labora. They will soon feel pain. I guess we should have been upgrading the stone mask, actually. Give us a little bit extra... Um... Gold. Ooh, a golden egg! Okay, so my understanding is that the golden egg increases the character's st stats permanently. Now, does that mean, like, after this run is done, this character will be better? That was my understanding, but if that's true, that's pretty nutty. Okay, well, our gold fever is about to go away, unfortunately. Okay, we got the stone mask up at least, so we've got like two seconds worth. And the wings also. The wings help. And we're done. Alright, come on, Reaper. Alright, should we run through it? Or another revive, yeah. That's what I need. Oh, we're actually killing. We're killing more pots. Getting more gold. This is so worth it. Oh, and now the Reaper's frozen. Dude, look at the damage output. Think of the damage. Think about it. The damage. Okay. Well, it's not it's not doing enough damage, I don't think. Look how big the crosses are though, Jesus. Yeah, this character's unique passive is pretty crazy. I can definitely imagine on a different map it would be Quite powerful if you're able to get to 30 minutes, but also keep in mind we had like every single accessory in the game, so you know. All right, well we got three unlocks. 15 minutes with the guy Ziasunta. 15 minutes in Moonglow. Chill. And we definitely made our money back. Buy all these. Maybe we can buy that. Can we buy all of these? Probably not, right? Ooh. We're close. Well, since I don't have enough money to buy a new character, I might have to play another character of the same. Maybe try to uh, get some more Arcana unlocked. You know? Reach minute 31 in the Dairy Plant, 31 in the Inlaid Library, 31 in Gallo Tower, 31 in Mad Forest. Okay. So maybe I'll have to do some Lancet runs. I know, uh, I'm sure everybody loves seeing those. 
I'm sure they're very entertaining. I think they're cool. But yeah. Alright, well. We didn't uh, evolve the Vento Sacro. So either we don't have it unlocked yet, or it doesn't have one. But we were able to get the Glass Visored. We didn't get all standard relics from all stages, so I guess there's still one that we need to get. I'm not entirely sure. I don't see any, so... Hmm, I'm guessing that there is one in here, it's just hidden. We'll have to figure out how to unlock that one. And there's one in the bone zone as well. I think I actually did see something about the bone zone relic. I think that's what gives you access to like the secret menu or whatever. Anyways, enough talking. That was it for today's video. A little bit underwhelming, I would say. My apologies on that one. But hopefully next time we'll start actually targeting specific unlocks here. Uh, specifically with like arcanas and stuff. You know. Try and get some the ball rolling, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. And, um, hope to see you next time. Also, hope you have a good night. Peace.